Look, guys, it is bright and early for day two of Otakon 2023. I ain't sure you it is 2023 because you see my guy here, and then we, we chopped it up last year. Uh, but indeed, yes, this is a new year, a new Otakon, and look who is back. <laughs> Happy Jose. to be back, man. Happy Welcome. to be back. I I'm just it. glad they let me back. <laughs> they should have, and, and they, they're doing a good job in, in their in their guest relations and booking, and um, having you back was definitely a pleasure. As soon as I saw you, I was like, yes, confirm that interview for me, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, being back, how's it been for you and uh, being back in D.C.? Uh, it's been fun. It's been fun. I think we're I think we're definitely a lot more used to it than we were last year. Yeah. Yeah. Last year was a lot of like like why are we here? Should we be here? Yeah. Now it's like okay, we deserve to be here. Yeah, we got it now. No, but uh, yeah, like we're used to it now. We got how the panels work. We know how it works. Yeah. Um. So we're getting better at like prioritizing the time and everything like that. So yeah, yeah it's been good. you keep saying we. Who could you possibly be talking about? Because they're it, she's not in frame, is she? <laughs> no, so I'm just no, 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 no. But we'll, we'll slide her in frame now because you're saying we. And who exactly are you talking about there? Uh, yeah, that's my girlfriend. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Sli slide over here with us. Slide over here. Get it. Get in here. Get in here. <laughs> this is this is how we're gonna do this. Welcome. Hi, it's Karina. Hey. For, listen. Um, <laughs> Now you're the featured guest this year. Yes. As you should have been. <laughs> um, so now that you're making your debut, how has it been for you? Now that you see your, your, your banner, you get the logo now, you get the announcement. Uh, what's been in that excitement? Um, it's been, now it's exciting because like I know when they first told me, I kind of just like went like, oh, okay. <laughs> and then like it hit me later on and I was just like, oh, okay. Yeah. And then I'm here and I'm like, ah, oh, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's been very... Very cool to see. Yeah. So, I wanna I wanna really get into the nitty gritty here. Uh, first of all, we have to we have to go to the internet here because the internet wants to ask the tough questions, and everyone always got the most infamous question for oh you, boy. sir. Oh boy. Oh no! Wait. Yeah. If it's the one question, I think. All right. Go for it. Go for it. Okay. I got some theories. Where's Baka go at? Oh, <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Where, where's the Bakugo and Brown Bakugo, man? What happened to you? Uh, yeah, no, he's there. <laughs> he's hiding somewhere. You can scroll back. There's some old videos. Uh, yeah, no, I've just, I, I think like we talked about last year too, like I told you I like more animes than My Hero Academia. And then like uh, actually because of Karina and like just being able to like dress up together and do different stuff, we've been able to cosplay and do videos now. And we just sort of hopped out of My Hero Academia. Yeah. And now all I seem to get is like, what happened to the My Hero stuff, dude? <laughs> You've changed. You were my guy. <laughs> like, what's going on here? And like, uh, like, no, we could still do it. We're just having a lot of fun with Naruto and Dragon Ball. Yeah. And I think it helped us because like back then everyone was like always just like, oh, My Hero, mm -hmm. you know, like Bakugo, Deku, Todoroki. Mm -hmm. But like, like we said, like different animes. I also used to do other voices as well. And now we get to do all of that together. So... Yeah, it's just been cool. I see the comments. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Damn those people. Um, yeah, and, I, and I, I appreciate that as well, too, because, I mean, you talked a lot about wanting to get into the voice acting world, and obviously uh, your, your big presence online was Bakugo, but now, like, you, you clearly show have shown, like, the versatility and the diversity within your voice acting in terms of the different characters you portray. Now you two... And whether you want to consider yourself content creators, but I look at it uh, from like a critic standpoint, like your your producers, you're putting le together like legitimate skits, and you're like really embracing these characters, Thank you. and you're like meshing these worlds that doesn't exist. Like, and we're all doing it for family here, <laughs> which is like, I, I it's, it's you, some saw, of the you best. saw the Fast and Furious one, didn't you? My God, <laughs> I was like, as soon as he dropped the family I, bomb, <laughs> the f bomb, <laughs> the spy family one is the funniest thing. <laughs> Um, but but so with that being said, coming from a director and producer standpoint, which you two should be crediting yourself, is that no, what sort of is that creative mind and putting these, putting these uh, sort of scripts together um, and, and, and like, you know, shooting it and then the editing and like, you know, making sure that the quality because it's I mean, from a year from now, beyond analytically, like everything has gotten better. But mm -hmm. what sort of that think tank before the fun that we see and I give you. You're so cool, by the way. No, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Um, I, I mean, I guess, yeah, from like a, from a creative like standpoint, I guess, like, like you said, we don't like uh, creators, influencers. I don't know. We we like we like watching movies. We like watching anime, and like our friend Chris too. We talk about it, and it's just like, uh, you know, like we do put our put our all into these skits, but we also take a step back and realize like these are just for fun. 
so we like to have as much fun as we can with them and do it you know so like we 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 loosely like we storyboard some things we we have an idea and then we think about executing it how we're going to do it um we improv sometimes and i do think when we improv that's like when we get the better stuff because we're like oh we did not see that coming uh there's a couple lines where we come in there i'm like okay that's brilliant put it there and it happened while we were shooting it and um you know to us you know so it's like and it works out i think and uh but yeah, like we, we plan it out. We have these ideas. Editing for me is editing is the best part for me because that's when you see it all come together and like you're like and you're the whole time I'm questioning it, like is it gonna work out until I edit it together. I'm like okay okay we we, we did it and then I, I feel like for you editing you can already see it because you you'll shoot it and you'll be like okay yeah, I know what I'm gonna put here and here and here yeah and that's what I commend you for because like I know oh, I like to edit but I'm like I don't know I'm not. Mm, not considered bad at it, but I'm always coming to you like, oh, do you think of this? Like, and then I always just take the phone. I'm like, here, let me do it. You're like, actually, I like messing yeah, with do, it. Yeah. And it's fun. Watch it. And I'm like, okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So, I don't know, idea-wise, I feel like, you already know, but like, um, personally, uh, for me, like, I can't get ideas like that easily and more, fl- like, flowing how you usually do, do, because, like, you'll take a shower and you come out and you're like, <laughs> I have this <laughs> great idea. <laughs> and I'm like... <laughs> cool i've been struggling for the past like week like i don't know what to do but yeah sure tell me what's up and then like it comes to you so easily and for me like it's that little like i'll have like the ingredients just like out there and i'm like all right here's this help me out a little yeah well you tell me like you come up with like like oh what if what if lee gets like super drunk and then like does something okay and so then we have the idea and we Mm -hmm. work around it and then we add like the layers to it so like why would why would they be doing this you know even though there's like it looks like there's no thought put into these videos. Like, there is a lot of thought. <laughs> a lot. And that's just what we're kind of going for with it. Same thing with Goku and Vegeta. And, like, those are my boys. So, like, I, anything they do, I, I, I know exactly how they react. And, like, I just, again, I always hope the voice actors watch these. Actually, um, uh, Sabbath saw one of them, and he reshared it. And I messaged him about it and left me on red. But I, he <laughs> shared it. So, like, that's all I cared about. <laughs> so. yeah. I think that's I'll take Oh, yeah, Give me one of these. Um, yeah, I think that's and that's that's some, that's like something else I wanted to talk about too because I know you were uh, the focus last year was a lot about what you're currently doing and the importance of TikTok and then obviously some of your goals going forward and obviously wanting to tap into the voice acting world um, and and then you know with that hopefully catching the eyes of the industry industry folks or other professions and we seen yesterday also uh, you have grown a relationship with Rico who's obviously this just laid his footprints all over and then mentioning that Chris shared it as well too. Uh, speaking about that, what has been some of the advice, um, whether some of the advice or just some of the funny moments you've had with some of these folks that's really influenced your creative uh, to this point? I think it's like, um, uh, it's, it's funny that you mentioned Rico too because like it's going to sound weird but you you never forget your first, you know? And like he was uh, last year, <laughs> I'm sorry Rico, no he was, uh, Karina knows too, he was like the first uh, like voice actor we met and it was just kind of like a fan thing because he was in the green room at the same time. I remember like waving hi at him thinking like this dude's not going to turn around. And he instantly turns around and he like he's one of the few that I think like acts just like his character in like My Hero and all yeah. that. So he was like super – and yeah, you've, you've interviewed him too. Super energetic, super yeah. fun, charismatic, the whole thing. And, um, you know, so I was like shaking and geeking out, you know. And like we've had the chance to like meet up at Otakon now twice and – this time we did a panel together yesterday, so mm-hmm. it's it's just been really cool, and I think that's been the coolest part to see is that these voice actors don't hate me because yeah, yeah, of yeah. the stuff that I do, and like I, that that was my biggest fear at first, like a little one, and then um, yeah, but they've been so cool. They've given me a lot of advice. Um, and like we said last year, it was more of a like I hope to one day be a voice actor if that can happen. Mm-hmm. Now, the like they've opened their doors to me. Now it's just more like. I'm trying to get ready for it. Yeah. So when I'm ready, I can do it right. Yeah. Um, we've just been so focused on making videos and stuff like that that I want to make sure we have time to for when we're ready, let's do it. Yeah. So it's crazy. It's crazy how like last year was just like, is it going to happen? I don't know. I'm hoping. Yeah. Now it's like it's a pretty, pretty good chance. So yeah. hopefully, hopefully. And I think like what's interesting is that like it would be very gatekeepy-ish if they were just like, we yeah. don't like what you do. Because like on one end, you have cosplayers, which is mm-hmm. – some of the most creative and um, I, I guess in the sense of like playing uh, homage to these characters and then behind the characters are the voice actors. So at one point you got the physicality part of it, right? Yeah. You know? 
but then the voice actor part is like, yeah, I'm I'm inspired by what you all do. This is why I do what I do, and mm-hmm. I'm like that. That should invite more folks. To yeah, want to do yeah, hundred percent. I feel like it just like it invites everyone, and it's all everyone's just supporting each other. Is that what it looks like to me? So if one person's like gatekeeping, it's like, no, I don't like that you're doing that. Like, it's that same thing where like, I guess TikTokers now do promotions for movies. Like we're at, we're promoting the movie, yeah. and I mean, I guess like as long as you're not like antagonizing the show or right, doing right, anything right. bad like it's we're doing it for it and that's it we're just showing our love for it in a way so it's i don't see anything wrong with it yeah so let me step over to you now um now that you're here as the featured guest we're going into the second part of the interview now uh we have karina katarina here um again featured guest at otakon um can you talk about because we do see a lot of the fun times with you two um there were a few comments within the Barbie video, and folks were like, she looks really pissed about Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but for you from the creative side, mm-hmm. and obviously, you know, last year we didn't get to talk, but uh, Jose couldn't speak, but and, and obviously you were there in the room, but, like, he, he couldn't speak but nothing but amazing, beautiful things about what you do for him and, and being there for him and, like, helping him in so many different aspects here. Um a lot of folks don't get to hear about your side of the story here. And with that saying, like, you know, being a part of the creative, uh, being a part of these conventions now, and ultimately now being a guest. Uh, so, so throughout this journey of, 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 of being next to my guy, Jose, what, what has that whole journey and experience been for you? It's been, it's been a lot, but, like, in a good way. I know, like, in the beginning with the um, – well, first, you didn't like TikTok, but then you – downloaded tiktok but um from there on out like no no because in the beginning you would um try to do like your skits and like you would show me and it's like they, like i would watch them and be like oh that's so cute like you know yeah. very nice and then like you went to your my hero stuff and like um supporting you all throughout that because like i would be at work and i'm like oh like are you done with your video and you're like no not yet i'll be back <laughs> later and i'm like okay yeah. that's fine and then um what's it called like it's nice to see that like when, well, our first convention last year was Otakon, that, like, um, people would stop me and be like, oh, like, you do so all the, all these voices. And, like, I don't know, it just felt nice to, like, see that. And, like, on my other side, like, I would make videos for myself as well. But, like, I started off doing cosplay and, like, um, with, like, sound bites. And then I don't know what happened where, like, I got really bored in my car and I started doing sniffing videos, <laughs> which was, like, kind of, like, huh? <laughs> but, um... <laughs> Yeah, so, like, that, like, took off for a little bit, and then, um, you know, I showed Jose, and Jose's just like, well, if it works, it works, sure, and I'm just like, yeah, I mean, okay, and then um, it got to a point where, like, I would just, like, be, like, ranting to my phone, and, like, I was just like, I don't know what to do anymore, so, like, thankfully, um, what's it called? You wanted to, pro- to like, transition from car videos to, like, doing, like, skits, and you asked me, like, oh, like, how do you feel about being Rock Lee? And I was just like... I like Rock Lee, yeah, sure. <laughs> so, like, um, it's been really adventurous and really fun to, like, be a part of it. And, like, because um, at first, like, I wouldn't put, it, put out my ideas for my own skits. And, like, slowly, like, you know, the creative juices started trickling mm-hmm. in. I'm like, oh, like, what if I do this for myself? And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. go for it. So, like, you know, it's, it's nice. I still have to, like, home that, like, um, you know, like, directing and producing type of aspect because like I come more with like little trinkets of like what can I do with this and then you just help me build it from there so it just comes with the experience though like I oh oh thank all the things <laughs> hell yeah uh but yeah no like like to add to what you said I think like you're you're getting more comfortable with it and like in more recent videos too like everyone like I keep seeing too it's like oh you're more comfortable you're throwing yourself more into it and like you said, like, uh, for me, it's been fun because, like, I know not everyone gets to see, but a year ago, you would help me a lot, but people wouldn't be able to see that because it'd just be me in my car by myself, you know? Now, should I keep, really keep you holding both? <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know if that's good for this one. And then, um, but yeah, no, now now you're in these videos and now you play, like, a really big part and you're doing your own videos on as well. And, like, like Nigeria said, like, last year you were here and now – in a way like you're here for yourself and doing your own thing too i'm just happy i get to have you here with me all the time because like not really everyone gets to say that you know what i mean so you get to you get to we get to be here together that's pretty cool and um yeah i'm really happy to see how you're 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 growing and doing your own thing 
tissue break, please. <laughs> That's right, we never stop. <laughs> okay, we're back. <laughs> After that very emotional moment. Like, okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> <God. laughs> <laughs> um, no, that's beautiful, and like I, I, I want to make sure too. I also give you two an opportunity to, to talk about some of the other creators you work with because I think, especially within all of the community within Con, there is a very sense of community, but there is that other side where folks are feeling like this is my opportunity, mm-hmm. and I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to allow anybody in my space because if I do, then I lose my opportunity, which is completely false. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's weird because like I I get what you're saying and I and I've seen it in some areas and I'm not gonna obviously talk about that that's not the but uh like I mean creators right comes to mind <laughs> I mean one's next door um you know so we're talking about like King Chris and everything like that so obviously he's become a good friend of ours and we actually met here last year and um you know like Karina said once to me too it just sort of happened like naturally yeah. we, it's not like we came in with like oh dude there he is you know what I mean like uh with any plans no we 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 met i said hi um we were both super awkward at first and we're like oh this is not gonna take off we're not gonna be friends i don't think it's gonna work out <laughs> and then, uh, we started doing like panels together and we're like oh we we have a lot in common we we started this at during the pandemic uh we both like making videos we don't take it so seriously we're having fun with it and um yeah we just sort of clicked and now we're doing videos as many times as we can to do together yeah and like you said it's not a uh, like we're just friends doing it having fun and then he goes off and does his own thing and we obviously go do our own thing yeah. so getting to come back together and do all this is like the best part of it yeah and i think because like collabs is also like sometimes featured as like a, a special thing but you all have normalized it and then yeah you work with folks like chris but you've also worked with other folks that have also been on there and i think like that's just a sense of like who you two are because again a lot of folks were like I can't share this space because this is my opportunity. And if somehow, some way, somebody else gets an opportunity, that takes away from my opportunity, which is just, again, completely false. And I think that's, like, why I love, like, the diversity within your, your content. Because, like, you can do something, that you two can do something, that you can add somebody else, and then you feature them. Like, hey, this is blah, blah, blah. You know, like, hey, this is Chris. And I just think that, like, if someone's not taking notice of what your work is doing now, it's hard to... It's just, it's just baffling at this point. And with that being said, because you're good with numbers here, two major questions for you all. With last time I counted, you're, you're, you two collectively are somewhere around three to possibly four million followers across all social medias, I would assume. Something around that. You got them up, yeah. 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 That's safe to say, yeah. Cool. But beyond that, I, I'm curious to know the, the, the bandwidth of, of content from point A to point B to putting out – uh, a skit, um, and 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 then how do you sort of deem, or and, and then how frequent do you put something out, and then how do you sort of deem and 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 analytically deem something in in terms of like this this is what we wanted to reach, we achieved our goal. Because I don't want to say success because every everything is success as long as everyone yeah, entertained. Yeah. But how how do you from from the number standpoint, how do you sort of look at things analytically to say for point A to point B, this is how long it took. We wanted to reach this, and we got this. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah. <laughs> we could have just, <laughs> yeah. Um, and it, it's funny because we talked about this last year too, a little bit about like the algorithm and all and all that stuff. Like, it's it's crazy because like I think for me now the way I look at it, because um, thankfully, right, we got to like a comfortable point where I think for me success is just we got the video done. Because the first thing is, like, getting the idea out. And it's like, are we going to be able to do it? Because, you know, you have work. I have whatever limitations I think for me. And it's like, can we do this? And we did it. You know, sometimes our videos will, can take a while if we really want to get this done. Mm-hmm. And we got it done. Ex- like, putting it out there, whether it does well or not, at some point, like, you have to take a step back and realize sometimes it might not do well, no matter how long you really worked on it. And... For me, that's why I go back and I'm like, we got the video done. That's what I care about. And that's the cool thing about like, because um, last year, I think we were just posting primarily on TikTok. Now we're doing YouTube. Now we're doing Instagram. And just there's a chance maybe it won't do well on TikTok, but it'll do well on YouTube or it'll do well on uh, on Instagram. So, and that's that's been fun to see. Like, um, you know, we've been having a lot of fun doing stuff on YouTube too. And it's a lot of the same videos. We just put them everywhere else. And, um, but yeah, like I said, like getting the videos done, I feel like that's the, that's how we feel now. And we're comfortable now to where like, 
we don't have to constantly be making videos to feel like, you know, because I think I fell into that last year. Where I was like, I have to keep uploading, have to keep trying, a uh, little bit of burnout and just feeling tired. I'm like, do I really want to make this video or is it just to kind of stay consistent? Yeah. Now it's like, you know, we have this idea we really want to do, let's do it. And then, you know, we can relax a little bit and then just do the next one when we feel like it's like so. the main takeaway is like to have, well, for me, it's like, for me, it's a win if we had fun shooting it. Yeah, 100%. And like if we laugh at watching it. Yeah. So with that being said, um, what's it called? Because like I know like like for everyone too, like someone could like put so much effort into a video and like you post it like say like primarily like on TikTok or whatever and the algorithm doesn't reward you with that like let's put it out there. And you're kind of like, oh, I spent all that time. That kind of like <laughs> sucks. But um, for me personally, I don't like looking at that. Like for me, something was like, oh, like if there's like, I don't know. Think about it like a shop. Like if a hundred people go into that shop and they liked it, it's like thank you, yeah. you know. So mm -hmm. like, that's and you the had way fun I making it. it so. Yeah. yeah. So it feels nice when people like seem to like it, especially if it's not like a million, like whatever. Like there's like a few people like into there. It's like cool. I'm glad you saw it. I'm glad you took the time. So yeah. At least. For me. It took a while, but I think we we got to a point where like we're comfortable with it now. You know. So we're like, yeah, but you know. And we just we we had fun doing it, mm -hmm. so that that yeah that's the that's the biggest part of it. So, right. <laughs> well, listen, folks. Obviously, we could talk for oh yeah, yeah. years, <laughs> months, the endless of time. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, folks. Otakon 2023. I'm with the family here because we do it for family, and hopefully, <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully we have you two back for many, many, many more years. And and again, it's it's a, it's, it's amazing to see y'all back this year. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.